Anticholinergic bronchodilators are a class of medications that are common in the field of respiratory care. They are used to treat obstructive conditions such as asthma, chronic bronchitis, and COPD. This video will provide you with a quick overview of this type of medication, so if you're ready, let's get into it. First and foremost, what is an anticholinergic bronchodilator? An anticholinergic agent is a drug that acts on the parasympathetic nervous system. It blocks the mechanism of action of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which promotes relaxation of the smooth muscles in the airways of the lungs. This is why it's effective in treating bronchospasm and many patients with respiratory conditions are treated with both anticholinergic agents and beta-2 agonists. Now let's talk about the types of anticholinergic bronchodilators. There are three primary types and they are short-acting, long-acting, and ultra-long-acting. Short-acting anticholinergic agents are known as rescue drugs because they are used to treat acute bronchospasm. For example, an acute asthma attack. Long-acting anticholinergic agents are known as maintenance medications because they are used to control and maintain conditions that cause chronic bronchospasm. An example would be patients with stable asthma or COPD who are not having an acute episode or exacerbation. And ultra-long-acting anticholinergic agents have a similar mechanism of action as long-acting agents. So to simplify things, if a patient were having an acute attack, a fast, short-acting bronchodilator would be indicated for immediate help. But if the patient is in stable condition, this is where a long-acting bronchodilator would be useful to help keep the condition under control. Now let's go through some examples of each type. The short-acting anticholinergic agents include hypertropium bromide or atrovent, the hypertropium bromide and albuterol combination, which is called combivent, and oxytropium bromide or oxyvent. An example of a long-acting anticholinergic agent is acladenium bromide or Tudorza. And some examples of ultra-long-acting anticholinergic agents include tiotropium bromide or Spiriva and eumecladenium or Anuro. Keep in mind, these were just a few examples of common types of this medication. We actually have a full guide on our website if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic. I will drop a link to it right below this video down in the description. But moving right along, now let's talk about the adverse side effects of anticholinergic bronchodilators. Here are some of the most common examples. Tachycardia, dry mouth, increased body temperature, cessation of sweating, dilated pupils, fluid retention, and in some cases, anxiety. The severity of each side effect varies from patient to patient, but these are just some of the common ones to look out for. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. I hope you like the information that was shared in this video. Anticholinergics are definitely a class of medication that every medical professional should be familiar with. And this is especially true for a respiratory therapist. We'll be going even deeper into medications in future videos, so again, definitely subscribe if you haven't done so already. And just one final reminder, this video is for educational and informational purposes only. Please speak with your doctor for medical advice and treatment for yourself or for your patients. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.